Okay, so here we have global patties, 15% uh, protein on the right with real pollen. This is the new Man Lake Ultra B Plus that also has uh, real pollen on the left. Uh, first thing to note, this is a lot darker, which Man Lakes always have seemed to be a lot darker. Um, and I like the little perforated holes on Global. I was kind of hoping that Man Lake would switch and do something like that as well. They didn't, so I will go ahead and hive tool. Sorry, my hand being in the way there. And make some marks on this. Okay. You really don't have to do too much, but I like to scratch it a little bit. And then we got, uh, we'll put this on a number of colonies. We'll pick a dozen colonies to do the taste test next to. Um, this one had a little bit of fondant on it. Put the global there. like right there Let's see what happens over the next 10 days there all right so even though they look like different sizes uh, they're both supposed to be a pound the global are tend to be longer the man lake ultra b plus tend to be wider and shorter got another colony here uh, I took some extra fondant off an overwinter nuke and dropped it on there. Uh, but they're looking pretty good. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll get it up to where this is pretty close to where the cluster is going to be. Okay. I'm going to point out, actually, Man Lake did put some perforations. You can see them on this patty. It's just not very many. You can see how it is on the global. I kind of prefer this, otherwise I want to scratch into this a little bit. Here's one that actually is taking fondant and building bird comb out of it. Well, clearly they don't really need any of that. Patty's on there with the cluster. All right, here I am a week later checking the progress on the patties. So far this one, they're preferring, again, we're just looking at preference, preferring the global. They are going for the man leg, but pounding away on the global. Even more obvious here, global is just about gone. Man leg, they are quarter of the way into. This is the third week. You can see most of the man leg patty is gone as well, but global patty is nowhere to be found. Um, I'll have my conclusions at the end of this as well as the studies from Randy Oliver and since I'm basing it on consumption rate uh, why that matters to me. There's another one. Can't find the man, uh, the global patty anywhere. <clears throat> now this one. more of the man lake on than global. So I want to explain my thought process as far as the comparison of the pollen patties. And I'm going to refer to some research that Randy Oliver did. I think it was back uh, 2020, 2021 time frame, uh, where he compared uh, a number of different easily readily available pollen substitutes. And at that time, um, global patties, as well as if you made your own, were the only thing that would contain real pollen. So uh, I'm going to link to his articles and his research here in the description of the video so that you can look at this for yourself. Uh, but know at that time that the man like patties did not have the real pollen. So um, if it was uh, analyzed once again, the results of his study might be different as a result. 
so for that reason I was primarily looking at consumption with his studies he looked at first essential amino acid percentages uh, of the protein in the tested pollen subs and um, a lot of them did okay uh, ultra B and global both did okay in, in those regards uh, versus the what was seen as the baseline for what might be naturally occurring and he did look also at consumption, which is what I was looking at. Uh, global patties uh, was the highest consumption. And again, that's to me very important uh, for a couple of reasons and why I looked at it. I want, first of all, uh, to not use something that's gonna be wasted. Second, the faster they use it, the less chance it's gonna go bad, less chance of uh, basically uh, raising small hive beetles if they consume it very quickly um, and often as well their preference on what they let go versus use will tell you about the quality of something uh, if they prefer to look elsewhere even if it's low quality pollens that are naturally available versus what you put in there there might be a reason for that but the global patties were the best in randy oliver's study homebrew uh, basically a homemade concoction was the second uh, Mega B, then AP23 from Dadent, then Ultra B. And again, Ultra B did not have the real pollen in at that time. So just want to again re remind that, remind you of that. Um, colony loss, Global had the lowest colony loss, followed by the homemade, then AP23 from Dadent, Mega B, then Ultra B, Healthy B, and then a sugar control. Then looking at the colony total frames of bees after the, end, uh, after the end of the year, the homemade ones were the best, followed right behind by Global, then AP23 from Dayton, Mega B, then Ultra B, then Healthy B, then the Sugar Control. Big difference between just the Sugar Control and uh, the Global Patties. Also a difference, uh, almost twice as many bees with the Ultra B as well three and a half times as many bees or almost three and a half times as many bees with global. So, and again, uh, they did not have the real pollen in it at that time. And also to be noted that over the past year or two, uh, it's increasing the number of manufacturers who are putting the APIS biologics in their pollen patties as well, are giving you that option and both global and man lakes, uh, Make, uh, Ultra B Plus do have that option where you can add the Apis Biologics. If you're already putting that into uh, syrup or other feed for your small colonies, it's not that much of an issue, but if you're not doing that, you might consider that because it adds the vitamins and minerals that mimic nectar and really helps to stimulate them. Uh, so again, I will give descriptions to the studies from Randy Oliver, but just primarily looking at consumption. Uh, it was fairly split, which I've not seen in the past. Uh, I think the real pollen that Man Lake did add made a difference. Uh, I would say that on, in my small trial, that Global had a slight edge, but not significant. And it should also be noted that the Ultra B is a little bit less expensive than a Global. Now, however, what will I buy in the future? For now, probably still global for a couple of reasons. One, I like the perforations on the back. You don't have to, uh, even though Man Lake added some, it's not enough. You have to scrape it with your hive toll, so it's easier to put in. Uh, the patties themselves were slightly easier to get out of the packaging and put on the hives with the global. Uh, and that's, and other than that you've got Randy Oliver's study, which has not again looked at Man Lakes uh, Ultra B, so we don't know whether it's just that real pollen or not. Uh, Randy Oliver seemed to uh, indicate in his study that it was the real pollen, the presence of real pollen that made the big difference in the pollen uh, patties. So uh, you're probably fine with feeding either one. Um, I still lean towards global, but. It seems like Man Lake with its Ultra B Plus has made significant progress in improving uh, the quality of their pollen patties.